Minio's in a very committed position here. So playing in trash, I'm curious. Yeah, he's going to swing out on a bit of a timing. And, oh, they're up. He needs to hide now. I'm not sure if he's been spotted here. Rain. Um, for him. And the first bullet out of the Norwegian's pistol. Straight to the leader's face. Cowering in fear is Kyla. Still gets one, two from the Julies. Okay, up for debate. Hades Library. Rops tucked in tight moto. It's a hard clear. He's ready for it. Rops does manage to take down K. And he could get another caught on the reload. It's all fine in the phase hood as they combine three frags in the same amount of seconds to get that pistol started. Combat orping at its best right now for Hades. He needs to hit two shots at least. At the least, that's the first. And there's number two. Brokey finally puts him to rest. But now a two on two. And 60 seconds for the finish. Kyla, going to be perfect for Brokey's clear. And a one-on-one -on -one will emerge. An AK for Rops. He's the headhunter himself. And a plant. A chance for his first frag. It would be an incredibly influential one from Minio as well. He's looking the wrong way. Rops has got that perfect plant. Minio's going to be in his head. Is he wrapping around? Oh, did he get him for the dump? No, he did not. Rops holds on for phase. And they keep nine on the goose egg. Oh, what the hell is going here to bait? They're looking for the Orpa, and Minio gets a free frag, maybe more! It's two, could have been three, but instead, a three on three will emerge, and they're poking and prodding at A, Rain at least, going towards alongside Goofy here to receive him, and a clean headshot again from Rain. Hasn't really let off the gas since that pistol. Caught in transition here, Kyla. He's worried about long, I like the angle, it's good for one. No, it's not on Brokey's watch, a quick one to secure the plant and the round. So yeah, it's touches of it. It's touches of like a competitive stance, but guaranteed to get those kills. But there's reasons that players say play certain positions because you know that, know that they can produce those opening kills or uh, spring into action when they're needed to. Now looking for that reverse sweep and starting as they mean to go on. Great clear, takes down Rain. That was a Hades solo play, and there's more there we Hades. Go. That's what we expect from this Polish Orpa. Might go down with the time because this push down banana is coming. So, nine, let's see if they get loud after the... Oh, okay, close line there. Don't want to give away too many more casualties. That's enough. Uh, everybody else stay alive. You still need to drop some guns, boys. So damage for phase, but the first round for nine. There we go, something to boast. The 16 0 Jinx immediately. Imagine a world where I'm giving you unique tips and tricks about the game. On top of that, analyzing your demo. He punches himself in. So hard to do that effectively. Paragon. Always leading by example. Meanwhile, Skin Club is taking care of all that drip to make you look like a superstar. Hades has been a constant presence there. They're coming, coming and gunning for that. Oh, Hades! He's sticking around for more! He wanted Carrigan, and he pays with his life for that greed. Towards Long is Rain, again successful in this head-to-head. -head. He can just take it when he wants it. Minio, at least, responds in kind. And Rob's is right in the smoke. Pressure's on Goofy here. He's the one pit side. Rob's got it all to play for. He's heard the rotation. They just need to isolate Goofy on A. He hears them coming. Impending doom. Or a solo play. Gets the bomb down. Brokey has to clear him. They have confirmation. Rops is lost. Brokey has hit the shot. Hold both here. Brokey can plant and try and set up for this. Booney Pit's best option. Short, perhaps. Ops for sight. As he doesn't have anything library side immediately. Brokey's brain whirs into action. Three bullets. He can afford to miss one. And the first is perfect. Anticipating the second. Oh, Brokey! He's an animal and he does it for phase again. The highest rated player so far here in Paris. And he's a closer as well. Probably be more beneficial for top teams with some of their players just to play spawn base so that it's very difficult to study the patterns and know what's coming. Minio is about to cop a flash here from top mid. They waterfall out. They're in the face. He's dead. Top mid brackets oh, is Kyla. That's a big one, Kyla. The bomb's trap pit side. Molly will force him to fight. He goes wide and oh, despite the flash, Twist still hits it. That was their chance. And it's all gone now. All for naught. Hades with an opener, but still a phase advantage with that bomb already ticking. 
for a moment. Goofy, nice clear of the pit, takes down twists. Can nine find a clutch of their own? Two for FaZe. And not for K. That is just as easy as that. Call it 10. FaZe looking very comfortable on Inferno. And uh, probably not to the surprise of Nine's coaching staff. No, well, and this, this is where taking a risk like this and it goes so horribly wrong, you know, you look silly. But understanding that Ancient for them is a map of no confidence. Would you say 13? 13 Nine! straight losses on Ancient. I can't, fault, I can't fault them for trying something different. Nine's choice. Mirage should be get there. But this is like a cold bucket of ice water on the face of the poles. Goofy's aggression is something very promising with Minio's nade combination. He hasn't fired a bullet, but finds two. And Rain, another victim of this banana brawl. Oh, Robs is definitely looking sharp today. He's definitely gotten out on the right side of the bed, but I think a 1v4. Look how quick they're tracking him. They have the bomb. They've just sprung into action and everybody now offering up potential one-on-ones here. Not ready for that, is he? So, uh, Minio, you can understand why he wants to get in his face. That will be the second off the back of the third timeout. So, as he makes his way up mid, he'll have three to deal with. Kyla is close. Might pick up a flash here and will. Oh, the trade. Yeah, you'll take that if you're Kyla. He's taken down Brokey. Twist. Singed to 50. Rain tagged up. We need a frag and it's K to deliver. One and done. Twist on the AWP, no less, just for that one. And they're into the site. Hades, the unknown entity, right behind Minio on this fight. Go and that's this. a big one onto Rops. Investigating the smoke, leaves empty handed. Twist, safe from the flame. In the graveyard. And Ooh. oh, okay, not safe from the wall bang. Carrigan got nothing <laughs> done, and they do successfully regain control. See if we can find a little bit of lady luck, and they do. So here it is. Ah, okay, yeah. Well, we love it. <laughs> we'll take it. And now celebrate at Minio to take down Carrigan. Oh, I know that's a good word. That's everyone's favorite Polish. Dziękuję. And Goofy delivers on that mid fight. Carrigan and Rain, they just trying to test their luck without the smoke you expect. Yeah, back in the day, we'd call that calling in the dark, right? You, you don't have any idea. And Hades grabs the third. All right, wrapping this one up nicely. Nine for their third consecutive and a recovered half. I mean, 11-4, certainly much more workable than where this one was going and trending. Good to see Goofy joining the ranks as well. It was Minio and Hades up until this round. Now it's Goofy that provides an impactful triple. And Brokey, a one versus five for the ages if he even gets close to that bomb site. Bomb long side, Minio and Hades have got that on lock. He's coming short, maybe the wall bang of his own design. This is crossfire, very potent. And you can see Kyla primed and ready. And you can see that's a recovered half. Hades trying to keep the boys in line, an 11-4. That is testament to the amount of trust. This man's judgment, but that is what the P250 does. Are they gonna accelerate or overthink it? Oh, Taz was hoping to see the boys just let loose a little. Goofy, he hears a lot going on. They've lost K elsewhere. They don't want to lose the bomb as well. Goofy has to contain this. One is great, two is amazing. Huge. And that should really lock it in. Sure, Brokey's been spotted mid. One unknown entity is Carrigan. Bomb has been too little too late. Only softening damage and Carrigan looking to see if he can find anything here. Here I come. Yeah, Brokey's also made his way over as well. 4v2, good luck. They'd really have to fumble this one. Minio safe and already contact taken and executed into Carrigan. And that is a pistol round win and a convincing one at that. Permaban was in bold there. It was. And uh, we are ready to get this one underway with Carrigan. Throw his aggression into the mix and supported by Brokey, but Gotta he's get empty handed on the aggress. Fails to impress. Kyler in the apartments. He's going to be caught out by this. This is Rob's specialty and a beautiful find. And that leaves nine in the dark of apartments. Rop successful, Brokey two, and both of them going to have a lot of info from this rain push, aware that there was presence on its way. Minio, flawed, and bomb two. Here comes rain. As uh, oh, the go go gadget arms. We'll find him an AK 47 for now. Goofy could try and alleviate a little bit of pressure coming through this boiler position. We'll have Rops, and Rops on the elevation will deal with him. 
So there's that statement I was talking about. FaZe will get back into the winning ways, and if they can win... Yeah, I'm sure at times after that, they vowed to not never let that happen again. Apps aggression here. Brody again, a mainstay in the opening kill department. Just continues to lay it thick. Can they keep it perfect? The answer, no. Hades does manage to catch Brokey's second investigation. Minio, gonna try and catch him, but the smoke does obscure Reigns. Reposition, playing that pillar. A power position as he returns upon the fade to that new box area, and they overlook it. It's still only Hades back for nine, and now he's got to do all of it. Three more to find, and look at the angle. It should and is the end of that one. Rain collects. He's got full info, full answers, but still, with twist position, it's more of a flank than anything else. Oh, and he's caught one. Minio just at the tail of his assault. Snipped, and it's Rops as well that will combine for a very potent blend. Nine seconds, only Kyla, and he's gone. Phase is Inferno, they thank in their lucky stars, it slipped through as they do look very comfortable right now. Another three series to, to lift that trophy. So uh, they've given themselves the most maps possible if they do want to lift it here. But Inferno is a good way to get back into things because not only will this uh, vindicate maybe the last two best of ones that they lost here, it'll help build some confidence for the team, yeah. give them some momentum. But uh, I'm, I'm sure Nine are going to have a whole lot to say as we make it into Anubis as our second map. It's just oh, some nice shots, Goofy's right? We have seen some nice shots. Yeah, definitely no slouch, and we know that, but... Oh, yeah, take it to school on Inferno. Cage, you're safe. Didn't get the favorable bounce that time. Broke his relocation. It's caught by Hades, Good so nice. this is perfect for the finish. Still presence in the box. Oh, his pit, and he nearly tapped the third. A great multi-kill, but he'd have to do it all. Oh. Rops is on the four and ace. As he does do as much damage as he could. A triple short. Set Swiss up for more. And he's coming for this 16. Goofy will deny a nice find. And yes, nine up to eight. Well, they're coming. They are, and it's a bit of more pace than they were ready for. It is exemplified by Minio on some twists. Sure, Rain won, but Carrigan's already gone. Rain would have to do the impossible, oh. like spamming a smoke and finding a third. He's a threat, and as a product of his hard work, they have the advantage here. Flashed in, Kyla will catch him, bomb in, and they can break face. They can extend play. Uh, not if he hits that while blind. Brokey just slaps him with the orb. Need another. Oh. Gets it done. Goofy extends play for nine. And FaZe, they will have to accept a likely 10th here. And drop the ball again here. This is a buy that is missing a lot of util. The smokes and mollies are there. The fight coming in banana. Twist forward for the first. He might even get oh. the second. Van Dolken with the double. Yeah, well, that is exactly what he does. That's got to be it. Yeah, you'd think so. This has to be done. The full banana control still. Top mid set up. Yeah, just looking to walk across the line for this final frag. And just like that, a perfect one to finish. Competitive scoreline for sure. Kyla, a one versus five to extend play. Asking a lot of him, but a great shot onto Robs. That's if he the, had the bomb. That's the stuff frag movies are made of, Chad. If he had the bomb, yeah, all right. We're, we're, we're definitely going to start humoring this one. 25 seconds and ticking down. Yeah, but if he could teleport or tap twist with another headshot, Kyla, man. He's got to go. Uh, he has to run. He has to move and they just smoke long. I mean, you got to run into these. Rain and Brokey would have to, I don't know, turn their monitors off. And there you have it, Face. They will take the first in the series for survival. Nine, fortunately, falling back on their map pick next. Yeah, and this is where we saw the surprise in the video, right? If you missed that at the start of the day, it was where Carrigan uh, looked towards Robin, like, really, have they done this? Have they removed Ancient to allow us to pick their permaban, one of our stronger maps? Well, this is how it's kicked off. Their defense in recent times, they love to throw in a little bit of aggression here. P250 for Hades, and he had a cracker. Oh, on to Rain on Inferno, but Rain finds revenge. That's naughty, and he's sticking around for more. 
It's just Glocks jumping at him. And he does turn away. Bait it out. Good frag back. Twist only the one. And into B they go. Smoke up Temple. Brokey quick on the tempo for the flank. Maybe this Julie. Perfect for the job. Oh, and the open plant. Forced off. Minio will survive at least. Trying to whittle away at more for Brokey. And that is another phase pistol. Well recovered. And a great shot out of rain. How, in, in some of these situations, you talk to players after the fact, they're like, no, we have a plan behind uh -oh. it. Twist, he's going to be forced to extinguish that if he wants to keep him at bay, but he's actually choosing to wait. And it leads to a nice one. On to video. Rain gets two on the MP9. This bonus round is worth its weight in gold. FaZe have managed to use MP9s to best nine on their first buy. Yeah, that sucks. They got stalled out after what looked like a great opener. And another one. Wow. Yeah, just absolutely hands up. That's on his back, and swimming. it's just Goofy. Well, this was the opener. What you got for us, Goofy? Nothing's the answer. Brokey, comfortable. Face kind the same. And dude, they leave with four AK-47s. They did their uh, recycling. Rops still has a smoke to extinguish here as well. Here they come. Okay, pressure on. Rops has to go wide on the flames. He still delivers the frags. Stands and burns, but delivers a double. And now just hinging on twists. He had to get one there, but only 70 damage. Quick from Rain. Oh no, it falls apart. He gets them both. And nine do succeed with 31 points of health on the left. Two, the last two, Minio just won. Excuse me. Brokey and Rops as well, ready to address this. Twist trying to force the issue. Good timing on the first and a second for good measure. Hades gone. And now they have the bomb. Kyler would have had to take both there if he wanted a chance to have a real conversation for round five. And you can see there's a real hunger for FaZe here. They want to keep it as clean as possible, especially after their first bumble. Yeah, some of the changes out of... Oh, there we go. There, it's been taken down. Just playing out. Some of the changes in phases setups make a lot of sense because there's areas of maps which get pressured a lot. And just yet, yeah, but they will need to start tussling with them. And rain. If the extinguish means it can't be aimed at oh. now, but Carrigan's out mid. Chill your beans, Carrigan. And there's more behind it. Look at the aggression. That was carrier, and that's going to be feeling real good for Rob. And he, it, it was one of his notes. It was one of the things he wanted to see more of. As Carrigan's already at T spawn, there's still 90 seconds of the round. As Hades is going to clear him out, can he? Like, borrow in? Yes. Oh, he has. How hard of a clear does Hades want to do? Such a rap position, isn't it? Because, like, th they don't know where else he could have gotten off to. Sure, T stairs and... Oh! Uh, okay, oh! Carrigan does get met by force. Hades has cleared out the rats uh, in the system. Look where Rain and Twist are. Yeah, good luck. Have so fun. So, Rain's covering the mid-cross. Twist is making sure that they can't go down T stairs towards A, but K could always go the long way around rugs and then come back for a fight, which is going to put Twist on two different axes for a duel. And, oh, spotted. Oh. And wins that with ease. Wow, made that look easy. That was not a easy to manage. Ray, that is Rain's going to be behind death. them. Rain's going to be behind them in a moment. You're right. Hades is not considering this at all. He does get both. Oh! 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 Spray, a stunning pair. That gave a bit of an oof on that one, yeah. didn't he? Don't think he meant to get the second on the fade away but uh threatening round with that previous and this change of tempo on the ct side by going full aggression across the map here it is gonna leave nine scratching Ooh. their head a little bit yeah a beaut right nice! and there's job. that energy again no, they could not trust me. rain on the platform here they come here in the steps yeah should be good for a couple here rain run down and flatten every yeah. single one they're hearing pins pulled, and while well, Twist and Brokey are here to attend to middle. Carrigan, too. They're gonna swing on this. Minio flattened. Hades, the same. Okay, lot. that's a real telling tale for this one. They've got no hope now. Rain just seems like he's on one. 12 and 5 right now. His first opening was great, but another multi kill from the Norwegian puts him up to 8. Looks like this is going to be a bit more direct. It looks like this might just be an A play. Wow. As that nade, wow. 100 plus damage there. Yeah, and look at the damage coming from Brokey's off. He's in the right spot. Minio sent straight back to spawn. As Robs is there to back him up as well. They're coming. Flash turn. Robs farming. A nice double. Him and Brokey have completely repelled the invaders. And Rain's even coming for the finish onto Hades. Your back is turned, and soon your Orpa is dead. And so 10 secure, seven in a row.
they come into the major at rank 19 in the world. You know, they've been on the up and up, up on the climb, but up against FaZe, it does seem like it may be too much for them to uh, help handle. Oh, it's just so direct. Now we try B, and there's so many bodies here. Oh, dealt with two, they're in. Oh, and Brokey only another. Kyla contributing heavily, limited options for Robs and Twist. Glyph position. Twist has even got the retake smoke for Dark. This is going to get interesting. Hades locked out. Backs a turn. Rob strikes. And Hades isolated behind the smoke. They know Goofy's on the plateau, but no time for this one, really. They've done enough. Despite the headshot from Robs, he just wants to do as much damage as he possibly can. Hades holds on. And nine leave with a second. But yeah, good. Uh, I hadn't quite put two and two together in regards to the rounds we've seen. I think it's a CT smoke and a molly to help grab all this room. So Inio can't believe what he's looking at. What does this mean? He's worried about the potential headshot angles. Making noise now, but they're coming A as well. Rops on the orb. Surely another. Yes, indeed. The back turn. Goofy takes on Twist, but it's all over. Red Rover straight into A. And escorted off the premises by a, a real mix this time. Rops on the AWP. A nice double orb setup. How often do you get to see that one? Yeah, it's good that they can bring that out, right? Something that is really available to this team. Yeah, Twist could even do it if you'd like in certain scenarios. So maps, and there you go. Carrigan will find out Hades. And they lose, but straight back into victory and back into what we're all expecting here. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. So Linio, he doesn't want to go forward, doesn't want to go backwards, and he goes straight into Twist. And so another opening as we look for 13 for FaZe to survive here. Two best of threes required after this, should they convert. I watch Twist gonna drop in after Carrigan taking this shot. Ouch. Oh, not dropping in, just holding the bomb. I guess uh, that works too. Yeah, you can set, You can have the sight, yeah. you can have it. We'll take the, uh, the package. He's here in this, or he will be now. He delivers the one. Another from Goofy, oh! another from Goofy. And these individuals shining bright, even in the face of adversity. Rain's ahead of this. Rain's already over towards A. He's in the heavens right now. If he tucks in, he, go in? he can just uh, tuck in that corner. He's, he's ahead of it. Across. Oh, this Rain. This is smart. He's done it all. I reckon this is enough. There goes the ball. Oh! There goes the round. Doesn't matter what Goofy does. He feels like a loony tune as they stare down the barrel of 13. It looks like FaZe have got it in the bag. It's going to have to be a spectacular run from here. Near impossible. But nothing's impossible in the world. Oh, Count, I haven't seen a 30 before. Yep. The 20 was something. The 30 is uh, old. Yeah, unicorn doubting. Oh, I'm dragging for the first. But Carrigan quickly um, fixes their problems. They're into the site. Minio Heaven side. And K oh, he's done well. K1 needs another. And doesn't really have the chance to do so. Back in away. Bomb to be planted. It does keep mean he's got a one on one with Brokey. Just dancing around that fountain pillar. Looking for more, this could still go wrong. This could still go wrong, but he hasn't been able to find the shots and Rops is there for the punish. Carrigan happy with that. He knows what it means. He knows that the rest should be a formality. It's brutal decision-making ahead of nine. What, what else are you supposed to do? You're supposed to put it all on the line? Here's the choice, here's the choice. We take a save uh, and we buy next round and we just have M4s but lighter on util for the first gun round. And that means the score is 15 to two and we need to bring it back with 13 consecutive just to go to overtime. Or we force buy where the economy should be a little bit more level. The problem is they're on the CT side where they don't get the influx of getting a bomb down. And Carrigan acting like he's almost won the whole damn thing here, but this energy is required of FaZe. They can't let off the gas. Not for a moment. Not for a second. Oh. As Brokey continues where he left off. I don't off. know if he could see him there. I don't think so. Minio just seeing this round fall apart now as every single shot connects for FaZe. And already that full investment from nine is over. Kyler won a consolation perhaps as he might be able to scoop up something better. And it's only the Mac 10. Carrigan happy to take some extra risks on that with his frag in the bag. And... Mac 10 going to be taken away, perhaps by Brokey. Nice find, an upgrade to the AK-47 as FaZe are on the way. No one's near the ball, but uh, oh, that might matter now. So good damage from Kyla. I, I don't see how they win 13 consecutive rounds right now. It's just a real gut punch. You do great in the RMRs. You get the good graces of having the legend stage, not needing to play in the challenges. You come in, you lose two back-to-back -back best of ones yesterday. Looks like his intentions off the rip. Four leaning B lane early. 
And Carrigan is happy to fight and scrim over this Molotov, as you were talking about, Chad. Carrigan is the one to open up the account for the finish. There's nine. Holding on. Fire thread. It's goofy. Stubborn in the defense. Keeping it level as Hades will connect onto Brokey through that smoke. Didn't take the bomb there, but maybe Twist is going to be cleared. Minya will happily take the AK, but will he clear the corner? No. Does an overlook. Oh. oh! That's a horrible way to go down. You jump scared as you perhaps play your final round of the Paris Major. Oh. Of your first Major for everyone bar Hades. And Hades is the one that's holding on. He's posted two in this one. Bomb maneuvering to probably join Rops. I say that as actually no phase. Looking for that clean finish. A confidence boosting. 16 to 2. Doesn't look too easy now as Hades has taken down Rops. And Twist does manage to equalize and surely aware that there's going to be likely a body close. He's planning for Temple. Wasn't ready. Kyla will extend play. And we will go again. I guess already feels like a phase finish. They've got 70 seconds on the clock as they charge into the two man defended site. Minio, he's kicking up a fuss. Successful and lethal. On to Carrigan. Hades there as well. Quick to respond. And in combination, Kyla. Hades. Good defense. Perfect. Does not get better than that. And this is going to be a very, very important. Kyla's goal. a namer. He Kyla's is. a gamer. And one won't be enough. Carrigan gone. But the second kill, so much more important. It's Goofy that provides it. One more required from Kyla, and he can't quite get it done. Instead, a two-on-two -two emerges. Quick from Minio into Temple, timing everything on his next engagement. Ten seconds. He's to clear. Rob's distracted. Twist onto the one-on-one, -on -one. looking for the duel. He's hunting him down. Oh. And Hades extends. As it was all out to Twist, Woo. he had to find the frag. Oh. He headed the right way. <laughs> it could have ended right there. And that is admirable, as the flash is enough to force him away. Once to drop that smoke to delay, is actually Twist gone. Hades can now focus his attention on A. He knows it's likely just a mid lurk. Lots of pressure and flashbang through that smoke. Kyla finds a high hidey hole. Oh! And a double spray. Another TK. He team kills Rain. Kyla robbed with a double, but he'll take the round. It's still up for debate, though. Jumping through the smoke into Hades' scope. And one more for good measure required. It's, he'd need three clean headies here. Maybe a body onto Hades. And they strafe him wide. He knows where they are and they handle it well. Have to say that's an incredible recovery. Tech 9 charge. Here they come. Gallivanting towards the A site. Good flashbang usage, but it's still comfortable for Kyla. Carrigan, first to fall. Rain, Tech 9, long range. He's hoping Rops and Brokey can help and try to overwhelm with numbers, but look at their health. And there's even a flank for good measure. Straight into the grinder. Ooh, Ooh. only one. Okay. Wait. Twist has so much room. Ooh, they Twist has rotate. so much room. They try and rotate through mid. He's... Oh, he's set for success. They're overlooking it completely. Minya rotates beachside. Hey, this is not... This stack, he can't kill both. If he pushes past, he can't kill both. Yeah, but stay here. Time. They have to go. This is the frag. This is the frag he needed. A second would be great, but Robs keeps the round alive. Twist has the rotation. Oh, dear. Not like this for nine. Just as hopes were starting to feel a little real. Minio has to save him. Twist looking the wrong way. And that's the headshot. Oh, he's found the first. Twist gone. He can wait for Hades now. The flank's coming. Robs in a one on two to close this full phase. He can do this. Done it time and time again. Rops bringing the fight to Minio, and the first has fallen. Can Hades keep nine in the major, or will they take that last place straight to the chin? Phase to throw that blow. Rops to throw it, and it is safe and sound for another day for Phase. But nine eliminated in a 2 0, no less. Just going to have to be more of that from FaZe Clan. Almost dejected by the way in which they clawed their way back in. But Nine, I think the way you summarized it as well, they're not just going to roll over. They're not going to accept defeat. But that first half was a condemnation. And they fought hard, extending play in the second.